There's like five wood ducks that are right up on this branch right here. There is a snake in the middle of the road. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. What is good guys? A little fun challenge today. We're going to try to capture what we can get without leaving the car. There's a blue heron right off the bat. There's a really cool sign that's right over here too. It's a white egret. He's right out the door. This is awkward. Sweet. Awesome. Let's keep going. And this is also a good idea for any of y'all who are just short and pressed on time, you know what I mean? You know, you have health issues and you really can't get out of your uh, your house too much and go on long hike. Just kind of go for a drive, a short 10 minute drive. Whatever catches your eye, go out there and snap. It's cool because you can make it kind of like an adventure too. You know, drive an hour in any direction from your home and uh, just take a tele super telephoto with you. That's the beauty of photography, right? Ugh. And making sure you don't fall into some potholes. One of these days I'm gonna capture an owl. Those little buggers are hard to spot sometimes. <laughs> they blend in so well with their surroundings, you know what I mean? Looks like there's a bridge coming up here that we're gonna cross. Oh, there's a bald eagle's nest right there too. Those guys. Let's keep going. Cross this bridge. There's a bunch of geese that just flew over. I couldn't get a, a picture of them, but I got a little bit of a video of them. It looks like to be a green heron that's right over here too. Just chilling. Stay out of the car, B. <laughs> Don't need to get stung right now. I'm sure you guys would laugh at that and it'd be justifiable. Right, let's pull off to the side here, see if I can see what's over here. <laughs> Bro, we'll slap the... I swear I love wildlife. Unless it has some kind of stinger and it's right up on you. Yeah. There's a snake in the middle of the road. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. I don't know if I can be able to get him without getting out of the car and breaking my rule. <laughs> Unbelievable what you see out in the marshes. There's all there are a lot of different snakes that are non-venomous that you know are harmless rattles though you definitely want to watch out for there's a a swan that's right here Really cool, like composition right here coming through the grass. It's one thing that's really cool about using your car as a blind is that you really, you're really not intrusive with the wildlife. You know what I mean? And you, you know, you don't, you're not putting so much pressure on them. This uh, stretch of marsh is also known to have humongous snapping turtles. I mean, huge size snapping turtles. 
There is a bald eagle in a tree. <laughs> See if we can get him. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting an eagle, that's for sure. He was way far out on that tree. Still pretty sweet though, right? How about that snake? <laughs> Highlight of the marsh right now is the snake. And there looks to be a cormorant that's right over here on top of this tree and he's got his, his wings just spread out like this and he's just staying there. It's super weird that he's like just staying there just like that in that pose. There's like five wood ducks that are right up on this branch right here. Oh my gosh, they're just chilling. <laughs> love it, love it. Yeah, there's a female that's right there now too. You can always tell the difference between a male wood duck and a female wood duck because a lot of species, not just the wood duck, but the female is like a brownish color and the males are typically the ones that are a lot more colorful. You're definitely not able to get, you know, as close as you really want to, to the wildlife in your vehicle like this, but it's still a lot of fun. What a treat to see the wood ducks out here. I'm not able to capture them very often, so when I get the opportunity, it's super cool. But seeing the snake slither across the road, <laughs> definitely been the highlight of today's drive. Many more cool adventures like this out of the Jeep and also hiking along the trail along the lakeshore. Many more of those to come with those Camp Coffee photography talks. Where we talk about everything photography over some coffee. If you want to help support the channel, consider becoming a member. You do get a couple extra perks along with that. Remember guys, there's no such thing as a bad photograph, only a missed opportunity. Get outdoors into nature and enjoy that opportunity that is in front of you with your cameras. Take the vehicle challenge yourself and get out there and utilize your car as a makeshift blind. Until the next adventure guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.